hey good morning everyone so we going to start with the new topic that is called users and groups so we going to understand how to create users what are the elements you have for users and how you going to check verify so let's quickly jump to theory part what are the key key point we going to see uh, next then add new suit okay so what are the things we're going to see here the key point so key point we're going to use here uid that's nothing user id okay so every user having one numeric id okay that's a numeric id that's start from thousand that start from thousand remember your that's start from thousand means is going to be happened thousand thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four so what about us those before that number like if we have number zero one two three four five like this we have number till triple nine what about these numbers these numbers are predefined number okay and this is assigned to the, to the highly credential so credential the user id is the smaller means higher credential okay so tell me who has highest ability which user super user super user so what will be the user id for that uh, one or zero maybe of course zero not one zero. of course zero means all the root user going to be as what zero and then you have one two or five and see that but whatever you going to create the user by default they will start from thousand thousand one thousand two thousand three what about group so to whom you belong so as soon as you have users the same name reflect to the groups you have root as a super user zero you have group id also zero. that is called gid called gid so we have uid the group id and gid is the group id so every group having by default their gid if you are not going to define if you're going to define the group id going to be explicitly changed we will see that right in the some moment today one so clear guys are you understand yeah so let's do the some practical and understand this so that it's going to be memorable forever okay so what are the keyword we going to study today so we're going to see the uid then gid group id then we will see the logon cell or login cell they will define then home directory of you every user okay then we're going to see that these are the parameter by by single command we are going to look on that okay and how you going to check this there's command called password the command is e s s w d by which you can see the password and second command if you want to see that called shadow what is called shadow so these two command you going to see in detail and apart from we have id id is a command itself where we're going to use check and verify those ids and parameters and then other command simply says groups by looking on groups they will tell you you belong your uid followed by your groups so they will both the parameter they will going to print out on the screen so we're going to see the id we're going to see the groups 
and the list of command let's explore this theory part so only the key point so zero is the highest credential the id will be the lower in numeric highest in credential zero is the one of the highest and then you are going to move upward your credential world now next can i map higher credentials higher user id with the lower credentials yes you can do multiplex using this group id suppose let me give you an example suppose i am you id belong to this 1000 but i want privilege access but i don't want to give the access as root if I want to give the access as a root, so again I have to make the group ID as a zero. But this is not a good practice at all in the real time. You can't give this. If you if you will give this group ID this, if they belong to this group, they will never ask you sudo command. And if someone going to hijack your system, then they can hijack your root files. So better don't do that. Okay. Then what is the what is the option there's something called admin the option four what is called admin a d m is a group i will show you i will do the lab and i will show you so don't make as a root you make as a admin group any users you will make admin they will having credential above all means they don't have credential to three o zero but they have above all the credential associated because the user id belong to this group so that's the power of group Hear your guys little bit or not yeah yes let's do the lab and understand the same thing we will going to do so back to our credentials that is called yeah we are or i can do it on my my local system also let me show you the few things which is available in my local system so this is um, so let's simply run the id the command id what is this something popped up okay so i'm not going to use this now first i will use the the file called cat etc password p a s s w d is not a complete oh my god this huge list so tell me i want to see bottom 10 line or head of 10 line first 10 line what is the command anyone i want to see this head yes head remember very good excellent head if i did not did not pass any parameters so it would by default take first 10 line so that's going to be used here so instead of cat i'm going to use a head and then followed by the password so this is the first 10 line is going to be printed so let's understand what is the first 10 line we have. We have root. So this syntax of those I supposed to understand what is this algebraic something is written over here. So let's understand each and every parameter. Okay. So I'm going to go for the whiteboard and show you. Okay. Need to be. And select in okay so let's understand this so head by default taking 10 lines okay what is this syntax syntax is repeat for everything every line the same syntax so let's understand one syntax this is the first word says that who are you who are you means user what is says user so tell me, give me apart from root, how many users? What are the name of users? Guys, anyone, everyone. 
Hello, are you on call, everyone? Yes, yes. Give me a part from root. What are the user you can see here? There is a news. There is a mail. News. Games. Sync. System. These are the user. Bin. See here? The first part is user. The root. Okay. What is the next? Next part is called the colon. The given next part is encrypted password. Encrypted password. What is called? This is the encrypted password you are not able to see. No one able to see. That's encrypted. The kind of value. So everyone having encrypted password. If you see, uh, are you able to Shagar Jitend? Are you able to see? understand, guys? This is um, very okay. Thank you. Now next point. Dot the user encrypted password. Next UID user ID. And then next is group ID. Tell me what is the ID having? Zero zero. Root, root means, user. Yes. Means group ID is root. User ID is root. But you can say daemon. Daemon is file. That's a root having one one. Then bin having two two. System having three three. Sync C having four. And something else but this is i told you whole gid belong to admin right yes right but you can see here the four aj id is someone else but there is no four aj id means group id is not used okay here guys so four is a reserve for the admin gid is different when the user id having different here guys then we have five six sixty six twelve so they are belong to different user id but they are having user id means your user id is different you have group id is different here guys but mail you have user id and do so you understand this clear or not clear? Yes. Okay, thank you. Next, come to after group ID, user ID, you have what? Group name. Tell me, yes, this is not group name, this is user name, detail user name. This is called user, your nickname or anything you call by the system. Here full username. This is full username, actual username. That may be same as a user or maybe different. Let's see. For root is the same, for bin is the same, for sync having maximum all are same. But you will see more more example I will show you that going to be different somewhere. Okay. Now next. After that username you have dull dot then slash root that is called that user's home directory. That is home directory for you. guys. This is user's home directory. This is user's yes. home directory. Okay. What is last left? Last left is nothing that is called login cell what cell they are using so you can see best cell used by the root that's why linux say that best cell yeah. should you understand each and every element if you have any questions quickly you can ask i will move to the next uh, what is this no login in the last four of those okay no login yeah means this is user super win you don't have no login means you need to authorize as a sudo okay that's come for okay. okay come for i want to see last 10 because first we saw one two three user idea if i will go for the from bottom i will see the higher user id what do you say right or wrong 
term to express yes. the value. So I will use the keyword as a tell. And the last 10 line I can see. I can see there is a Kasvi user, which is my system ID. Can you see Kasvi? This is my system. So it started from 1000. So this is first user which is defined to my system. Do you agree or not agree? Go. Yes. Okay. Now we have higher user ID. You can see 1001. That is also a new user which is created apart from Caspi. There is a user. Okay, so let's explore this user to user I have created. I will create more user later on. It's going to help to understand if we're going to create the new users. Okay, so what are the commands supposed to check this? So first command is ID. Okay, ID, if you're not going to pass any parameter, is going to by default take your passphrase one where you are. So I'm going to pass the parameter as ASU. Is the user is there? So what they say, say that your ASU ID having user ID is one G one thousand one group ID one thousand ones and he belongs to the group four. Clear guys? Yes, no. Yes. Come to yes, the yes. next command groups. I'm not going to pass any parameters, so it by default it will go for Casvi. So they said this groups, Casvi belong to the Casvi group, admin group, CD ROM group, pseudo group, they belong to the so many groups. The single user can can ID, see ID, Casvi ID, passing this many groups. And every group having their ID. So let's understand admin having ID for Judy Dom having 24, 27, pseudo 27. That's why <coughs> the Casvi can use the pseudo command. Casvi can use enable for the pseudo because he's the first user. So 27, he belonged to that group. He belonged to deep group. So these all are group which is belong to this ID Casvi. Are you guys understand? Same thing if I want to check for the groups. I intentionally I created the one ASU groups. If I want to check for ASU, we don't have any, any group associated with that apart from the default group. Are you guys understanding or not? I'm going to do yes. the lab right now. This is the thing, so I'm going to automate these things. So you should understand after automation their outputs. So this is going to help you immediate in the lab. Okay, guys, clear? Yes. Okay, excellent. Now let's check the the cat command. Uh, as leave it. I'm going to use the gray app directory and going to uh, also is a users and going to check the etc password. You can check like this also. So this is going to show for the specific one. Otherwise, if you're going to run this file cat etc passwords, so it will it going to print complete list. You can see huge list of it. You want to study, you can study. That's not a matter for me. But if you want to go for for specific grab also that user for specific, you are able to. Like that, I want to go for Casby use for the user. Okay. Oh, there is no user Cas Cas V. I see that. Agree. Understand. Yep. Yes. Okay. So you want to see multiple one. Let me try if it's working or not. I did not try it this way. So I'm going to pass the forwarder parameters and we're going to take the multiple one. Multiple one. Going to ask me as well as 
Awesome. I don't know it's going to be. Ah, oh, no, it's syntax not tailor. Okay, guys. So leave it. That's not a part. Can you run that grab command again? The cash v one. Cash v one. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, grab. So the one where you were trying cash v and ashu both. Can you run that command again? Okay. This and one. the after cash v that um, uh, what do you call it? Backward slide. Uh, you are forward, right? So use the other one. So remove remove that slash and use the 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 back backslash. Okay, no. okay, okay. No, no, no. Yeah, I got it. Got it. You want this? Yeah. Ah, sorry, I used. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks. So you you can use. I think this this I used earlier. Okay, fine. <laughs> So you can multiple user you can add and you can see here. So I want to add one more. Go for that is called root. So I can see that or three. So you have this. Okay, guys. By this you can explode. So shadow you have same way you have shadow command you can use for the shadow. Uh, permission deny for this you need. The pseudo privilege so you have this command here in the shadow they have given you the root and the followed by the password shadow command used by the password syntax your password is available okay that's why they you need sudo because you are not authorized to see the password Apart from this, we have the another way to check for password. The group G password. G password going to give you the group stuff. File. Okay. We have this syntax. What is called G shadow? Sorry. That's going to be the group shadow. For group shadow, we have shadow. So you can see we have this group belong to how many casts belong to how many users. So this is a cast group shadow. So group shadow is shows that how many groups the cast groups how many users sorry uh, this user how many groups it uh, belong to. So you can see admin group belongs to cast we cast we belong to the admin group also cdrm also sudo also def also but for asu you can see only one default there default they will not print the name default they will not print the name okay and like admin we have syslog as well as casv okay guys clear understand the command wise syntax wise yes yes sir okay any questions still yeah here i'm going to move for the loop implementation we're going to create the loop using the ansible and we will create multiple users and we will try to delete multiple user we can automate that okay see you in next class with the continuity of this topic how to create multiple users and maintain deleting everything to see bye bye see you next